Rolex have just announced the arrival of a whole range of new timepieces, but one which definitely catches the eye is the brand new Meteorite Dial Daytona. Rolex have executed this one brilliantly and it is a stunner of a watch. But what has changed from the previous model? In this video, I'll be reviewing this Daytona and telling you what's new with the model. But before we get into that, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel where I dive into the world of watches and create videos relating Rolex and other quality timepieces. Also, make sure you like this video if you are excited for this new release. The Cosmograph Daytona's main feature which has been raising eyebrows is an absolutely magnificent dial which has so much detail and is crafted to near perfection. The background draws inspiration from a meteorite, hence giving it that name and it's very complex and detailed. It has a grey backdrop with various darker sketchings in order to give it a rough and rocky look. Other than the dial, the layout is pretty much the same as previous models. This is because the sunburst black subdials are identical and the hour markers are still the classic Daytona shape. The white texture allows the blue luminous paint to shine and when it does, boy oh boy does it shine bright. Another nice touch on the dial is the red Daytona text which gives it an almost retro feel as it is kind of reminiscent of the older 1960s Panda models. The case however has remained pretty much untouched as it is in the basic and contemporary 40mm size. The material is special however as to match with the silver dial, 18 karat white gold is used to further elevate the Daytona's luxury status and to provide it with a flashy look. But Rolex also have made this model in a full solid 18 karat gold and 18 karat Everose gold material which could send this piece to a whole new level and without a doubt to a whole new price point. The pushes, lugs and thickness once again have stayed the same, but still are well proportioned and classic. Additionally, the black ceramic bezel is featured with the legendary tachymeter and contrasts nicely with the subdials and the strap. Speaking of the strap, it is very interesting and has a new feature. Since it is the Rolex Signature Oyster Flex rubber strap, it usually would taper straight onto the case, but on this model there is an, a difference. An additional white gold end link has been used on the strap to provide a sharp and separated look. This is a nice touch and provides you with some extra gold, plus it looks more sporty and like a true tool watch. Behind the dial is the same Rolex 4130 automatic caliber which is a beast of a movement and is pretty reliable as well. To refresh you, it has a beefy 72 hours of power reserve and boasts the signature superlative chronometer status that a Rolex has on all of its models. Some additional specifications include a reliable 100 meters of water resistance which is good but with the addition of screw and chrono pushes and a screw and crown you would expect them to at least get 200 meters of water resistance out of this piece. Also, a scratch resistant sapphire crystal is featured, giving it that extra luxury characteristic. But with this new variation comes in a pretty penny, as the white gold will cost you 48,050 Australian dollars, which is ridiculously expensive. But for the solid yellow gold and Everest gold, the price is even higher, costing $57 and $61,000. So if you want to get on the waiting list, you may have to either sell a leg or put a second mortgage on your house. But with saying that, the brand new Rolex Daytona is a stunner of a watch and deserves the praise. Click the video on the screen right now to see a review of the brand new two-tone 36mm Rolex Explorer that was released today. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to see more future Rolex reviews and like this video if you approve of the new Daytona. Thanks for watching and see you later.